I'll admit it now, I've never played Wasteland 1. So when I say that Wasteland 2 is a pretty freaking cool game, I don't have any nostalgia glasses on or anything. It's just cool. If you like top-down RPGs, that is. Which I do. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not biased, but I'm totally biased. Starting off the game, you were given the option to create your own squad or pick from pre-made characters. I decided to create my own. And then quickly backtracked because I decided I actually wanted to play the game at some point in this video. Wait, does that say toaster repair? So I decided on pills because combat medic, Hex because she reminded me of my wife, Cold Eye because of his wicked dreads, and Big Bert because Bert. I don't know, it's a funny name. Then after watching some depressing stuff that, well, depresses me, I get to play. My team is part of the Desert Rangers, an elite team of post-apocalyptic police. And by elite, I mean that guy is wearing football pads. Well, my team isn't actually part of the Desert Rangers yet. We've actually got to do one more mission to prove ourselves. Then let's make it count. Can I get a training montage? No? Oh. Damn. Our mission? A veteran ranger has died on the job and no one knows how or why. So what's the logical solution? Throw more people at it! That'll get the job done! Or perhaps get more people killed, but whatevs! So off we go in this travel by map view to some radio towers where we get attacked by raiders. Time for some combat. Wasteland 2 sports a cool tactical turn-based combat system that reminds me a lot of XCOM which I loved. So yeah, I'm all aboard with this. Each character has a number of action points to spend every round. Every action, such as moving, attacking, kneeling, or setting up an ambush, takes action points. So combat is all about spending your points wisely to make sure your team has the best position for attacking, defending, and defeating the enemy. And I love it. Except for one small, tiny, itsy weensy little thing. I suck at this game. I kept running out of ammo. Maybe I just need to learn to play better? Actually, that's not a maybe, that's a guarantee. But damn, Wasteland 2 was giving out ammo like I was playing hardcore mode in a first-person shooter. And by that, I mean it wasn't giving me ammo. And these percentage to hit numbers are flat-out lies. I swear there's a decimal point missing. Point blank range, giant frog, 69% chance to hit, and miss. Oh, f*** you, you mother So the first part of this mission had me collect a whole bunch of items that the previous ranger lost while he was busy dying. And when I finally finished, I was a bit low on ammo and wanted to go buy some. Nope. The game wants me to go to two areas to finish the dead ranger's mission. Fine, I figured maybe they'll have some ammo. I wasn't super low at this point anyway, just a bit below my comfort level. Or at least that was the case before the raider attack, and then the radio calls telling me my two destinations were under attack by raiders and killer plants. Yeah. At this point, I'm super low on ammo, have two different people yelling at me to save them, and I'm not even a real desert ranger. Worst job ever. So first, I went to the place being attacked by killer plants, because that sounded hilariously gruesome. However, it turned out just to be maggots and these Last of Us-style zombie people. Oh, and I also found out friendly fire is a thing. Let's just ignore that. Can I get a restart up in here? Eventually, I made my way to the fort where the residents were hiding, only to end up getting my whole team blown up and infected with a virus. So let's run through the list. I'm half dead, almost out of ammo, and the clock is now ticking for me to find a cure to this infection before I die. And I have to do another town after this, which they keep reminding me of. We are still under attack! Yeah, I got it. So it turns out I have to collect spores from the plants that blew me up, so the scientist here can research a cure to the infection. And by this point, I'm out of ammo. You know what? I'm restarting. Despite the anger I felt while playing the game as the stakes kept rising and rising, I was enjoying myself. I think the fact that I had to make choices and had limited resources made it all that much more interesting. I had an invested emotion in the game at this point already, which is what was making me angry as things kept going wrong. I guess what it comes down to is, I'm gonna have to learn how to play this game. Want to learn? Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to visit MMORPG.com for all of your MMO related news. And if you like this video, make sure to visit my YouTube channel for more silly videos.